Small but pretty cool news about Save Red Dead Online movement. Roger Clark, voice actor behind Arthur Morgan in Red Dead Redemption 2, gave his comment on this Save Red Dead Online situation. And it was pretty unexpected, at least to me, because usually people who are connected with Rockstar in any way, so you usually stay away from discussing such topics, because it might be controversial. And actually, I saw a lot of comments previously, like, we should talk with Roger Clark somehow and let him know about this situation situation with Save Red Dead Online, but I was pretty sure that he's not gonna reply. But anyway, look what happened few days ago. And by the way, thanks to Ben, also known as Videotech, who shared this information with me. So on Saturday, Roger Clark posted this on Twitter. Good old John Marston is getting pretty good on the radio. Obviously, he's not talking about John Marston, but about voice actor behind John Marston, Rob Withhoff. And he received a lot of comments about this, and one of the comments was following. Good morning, Mr. Clark. Sounds like something fun to tune into. Sorry to bother, but you have an opinion on comments on Save Red Dead Online hashtag. Rockstar is avoiding. Thank you for your time. Now I want to stop for a second. I often see people spamming the Save Red Dead Online hashtag under some posts that are not related to Red Dead Online and not made by Rockstar. For example, someone is posting some virtual photography from Red Dead Redemption to and boom a lot of save red dead online i don't think it's kind of cool because you know person who made a virtual photography in red dead redemption 2 he not necessarily plays red dead online or cares about this game and he can do nothing about saving this game he's not working for rockstar and so there is no reason to do such stuff it might be annoying but this particular post made by baldy save red dead online is a perfect example of how you should should use save red dead online hashtag if you want to achieve some sort of a positive result because first of all it talks about the initial post that was made by roger clark second it's really polite and third it asks a question in a very polite manner you know such type of questions that you actually want to reply to. But anyway, unexpectedly, Roger is replying. I hope you guys get the acknowledgement that you're looking for. Good luck. And discussion continues. Save Red Dead Online. I know you can see this trend, but you are still ignoring it. Didn't expect this from you after knocking on the doors of Rockstar. A thousand times we thought you will will probably it's will give a damn but even you didn't and roger replies there is nothing i can do i don't work for them anymore hope you guys get what you are asking for and yes it's true there is nothing he can do that's why we shouldn't actually you know spam this hashtag under some posts of voice actors who were working on rockstar titles it's it's not their fault that rockstar is not giving any sort of an attention to Red Dead Online. And then Matt is saying that he made a post on Reddit and Roger replies again, no worries man, it's beautiful to see this much love for Red Dead. Best of luck. Again, pretty good and gentle response from Roger. I, I actually have a lot of respect for this dude. And the last one. What do you think about Save Red Dead Online movement? Do you think Roxer are gonna address it? Honestly, no idea, but good luck guys. So let's make it clear, this reply will not gonna change anything, because yes, Roger is not working for Rockstar, he's not in charge of Red Dead Online, but still it's pretty cool and uh, nice to see that kind of a response. And yeah, it's another indication of the fact that we achieved something actually, achieved a lot with this Save Red Dead Online movement, because a lot of people are talking about it, or at least know about this situation with Red Dead Online, including Roger Clark, pretty important person in this community. And now it's up to Rockstar to make the tune. And yes, today there will be probably some sort of a post about these major changes that happen in this week. We're gonna have this Team Gun Rush mode and some few small, small bonuses. There is not actually anything to talk about, but who knows, maybe Rockstar will finally decide to break the silence and share some important information. We will see. But anyway, I just wanted to share this small but pleasant news and let me know in the comments what do you think about this situation. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. До свидания.